subscribe so Big Daddy Larry doesn't pass me in subs. We can't let this happen. What's up, you pussy farts? It's your boy. Actively dying. <laughs> so, everybody has, like, a dream or two. You've all dreamt about things and shit. And every so often, you have that one dream that just sticks out to you. And it's, like, the greatest dream ever. A few nights ago, I had that dream. And I wanted to explain it to you guys because it's it's a bit of it's a bit wild. I'm not gonna lie. So whenever my dreams usually start, if they always start at like a water park, like this one right here, you got a water a little swirly slide thingy with ladder on it. Whenever my dreams start at a water park, you know shit's about to get fucking wild. So I was right with this assumption because whenever I was dreaming at this water park, I was there with uh me with some big muscles of course because you know I'm fucking ballin. Uh my my mom, my uncle, and then you also had the child. Alright, so we're here. We're all congregating. All of a sudden we're back home. This mofo house looking pretty fucking snazzy, not gonna lie. Actually Actually, I'm a pretty good artist. Holy shit. This mofo right here, me, let me just grab myself by the balls. This mofo comes to bed. I'm just chilling, okay? So, right there is the bed. Oh my god, the bed looks so good. Here is like a doorway. All I see is this. It's that f fucking kid. He's doing the thing, he's holding a fork. The thing that I should have really looked at were his eyes. He was possessed by Satan. And he had like a big happy smile with fucking sharp ass teeth. He got like a little nose there. Cause you know, he looks cute. And as soon as I realize this, this bitch, he lunges like so, okay? But here's the thing. The motherfucker doesn't know that I apparently have a godsend reaction time. And so this is me jumping out of the bed and I just don't stop fucking running. <laughs> if my computer wasn't lagging like a bitch. And then, get out to the kitchen. You're probably wondering, it's just the kitchen. What the fuck are you on about? But here's the thing. Here's the oven. And the oven's on, and it's like emitting a red, like, fire. And my parents are sitting right here, just not even giving a fuck. And I run to the rescue. This is me, this is my arm, and I slap that door open, and I save the day, because it turned off. Yeah. And so, after this, this is where she gets good. From behind me, this is me. I sense something. I'm sensing a presence. I sense a presence of some fucking sort, okay? And I'm in like a garden stance mode. And I'm ready. I'm ready, Freddy. You son of a bitch. And lo and behold, uh, oh no. What is it? It can't be. It couldn't be. It can't be, but it is. It is the demon child with his rusty fork. And so I realize this, and then I turn around. It's about to fucking go down. We both fall onto the floor. The fork falls right fucking here. And I notices the fork and grabs it. I stab him in the leg. And then there's like blood everywhere. It's like <laughs> making that exact noise. Cause he's a demon, so he doesn't have human anatomy. So he's actually not bleeding red. He's bleeding piss. <laughs> and so motherfucker gets up, gets up and starts fucking running. He's out of there. He's trying to limp his way out. Like he got stabbed in the leg. There's the fork still. <laughs> Nice sound effects, thank you. I'm running after this motherfucker with a blood rage for trying to kill my family with a fucking oven that they were in the room and could have totally turned off. I don't know, maybe they're making some type of Thanksgiving thing and I completely misread this entire situation. I catch up. We're outside now, by the way. I tackle him, grab him by the neck, okay? and I have him on a fucking chokehold. And he's, like, looking at me and shit. He doesn't know what to do. He's scared. He's fucking terrified, dude. I look at him. And I go, don't fuck with my family ever again. And then I raise my arm. Oh, this is where shit just like absolutely takes a turn for the worst. My arm is raised. I'm about to fucking chuck him to the fucking hellscape where he came from. But then this motherfucker uttered the words, I want candy. And that is a demon spell right there. If they're in trouble, they can only use this once. And whenever they say it, it instantly teleports them away. So right after this, I woke up. Even though, like, it was just a dream, I feel like it's gonna happen again. And you know what? I think he's gonna be prepared next time for round two. 
I know that bitch Freddy Krueger, bro. I don't think he has his chance. Me and Freddy, we're homies. We homies, dude. We suck each other's dicks on Tuesday and shit, you know what I mean? And so, I don't think he has a chance. Even if it were to come with the entirety of fucking Satan's army or some shit, he don't got a chance. I'm like Meliodas from fucking Seven Deadly Sins. I'm gonna full counter that motherfucker in the ass.